Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this customised Mother's Day card in Word. So I've just now opened my default document where I'm faced with my usual A4 page. Now, if you want to change the size of your page because you have a different size card, then you can simply go to the Layout tab up here, go down to the Size icon and click on the drop down. And here you'll find a number of different options that you can select from in order to ensure you've got the right size to print on. So the first thing I want to do is actually turn this piece of paper around to landscape. So I make sure I'm on my layout tab. I go along to this orientation tab, click on the drop down and just simply click landscape. Okay. So what we need to do is just simply work on half of this piece of paper because of course when we put it through the printer we're only going to want to print on this section here. Now we can put things on the back of our card and on the inside of our card if we want to do so but at the moment we're just going to split this card in half so we know which side we're working on which will be this side here. So in order to find the halfway point you can see up here we've got our margins and we run right from zero here all the way through to 25, sorry, 24.7, which is here. Now, 12.3 and a half is roughly about the center. So what we're going to do is we're just going to insert a line. So if we go up to the Insert tab and we go along to Shapes, click on the drop down and click on this line here. Now, all we're going to do is just click, hold the Shift key down and drag, and that's going to pop a line in the middle of your well, it's certainly going to pop a line in your document. Then what you need to do is you need to roughly line it up with around about 12.3. So you can, once your line is highlighted, you can just move your arrow keys and just move that along to a, around about 12.3, which is probably about there. What that means is now we've got a guide. So whatever we do, this is going to be the place where your card will be folded. So we just need to work on this area here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to insert some letters and they're going to spell out mum. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up to the insert tab, go across to text box, click on the drop down and click draw text box. Then I'm just going to simply click and drag. Now this doesn't have to be perfect, but we're roughly going to do a third of the page so we've got one there one there and one here so I'm just going to drag that up slightly now these can be moved around and adjusted so don't worry too much about being really accurate if you want it perfectly square just hit the shift key and that will make a perfect square so I'm going to go roughly about here and then into here, I'm going to double click and I'm just going to put the letter M. And then I'm going to highlight my letter, go up to the Home tab. I'm going to increase the size of my letter by using this increase font size icon here. And if I just click on that numerous times, you can see my letter is getting bigger until it's round about the size I want. Just do one more. And then I'm going to change the font, which is here, and I'm going to click on the drop down, and I'm going to use this font called Big Book here. Now, my letter is obviously not in the center of my text box, so in order to put this M in the center here, we may have to do a couple of things. So ensure that your text box is highlighted, go up to the Home tab, and click on this center icon here. Now that will place your M in the center, but not in accordance with the margins here. So you can either adjust the size of your letter, if I highlight it, and then I can just reduce the size of it, then you can see it will slowly start to go into the middle of the box. But you can adjust the, the margins of this box. So if I go up to Shape Format, if shape format doesn't appear, it's because your box isn't high, your text box isn't highlighted. So just click on the text box and go to shape format where you're presented with all these different icons here. Now, if I double click on my, on my text box, 
then this drop down menu will appear on the right hand side giving you very similar um, adjustments as this ribbon at the top but it does have a few additional bits and it's, it's slightly easier to navigate. So what we want to do is just have a look at our margins. Now there's two different tabs up here, shape options and text options. This will clearly deal with your shape which is your text box and the text options will deal with whatever's inside the text that's inside the box. So at the moment we just want to deal with the shape options because we want to adjust the margins. So if we got, go to shape options and then we go to this icon here with all the little arrows, layout and properties, then we can deal with the alignment. And at the moment we just want to decrease our top margin. So at the moment it's on 0.13. So if we click on this decrease arrow here, you can see as I click to zero, we're now in the center of this box. Now, if you still don't think it looks right, you can increase the bottom margin to push it up a bit. And this largely depends on the type of text that you're using. Sometimes it can look a little bit funny depending on where the actual letter lies. So if we go back to the original, which was 0.25, and then we can just slightly adjust it and it just slightly moved. Okay, so I'm happy with that at the moment. So the next thing I want to do is to color this box. So again, I click on the box and I'm presented with shape format. Now you can either go along to shape fill here or you can go to the shape options here and click on this bucket here. And then you've got the options for fill, which is the inside of the text box. And you've got line, which is the outside border line. So if I want to fill, I have the choice of a solid fill, which is a solid colour, a gradient fill, picture or texture or pattern fill. So if I just go for solid fill for now and go down to colour, which is this box here, click on the drop down and select a colour of your choice. Now, as you can see, the box doesn't meet the edge of my card or, the, or it meets the border, but not quite the top. So I can just use my arrow keys just to move that to the top. I also want to get rid of the border line, so if I click on the shape again and I go to uh, shape options, down to line and then go to no line, then my border line will disappear. Now I also want to change the colour of my text, so if I just double click, allow my cursor to appear, highlight my letter, go to the home tab and then go down to this icon here which will adjust the colour of my text and I'm just going to select white actually no on this particular circumstance I'm going to select pink and then I'm just going to give this text a little bit of a shadow so if I just highlight the box I don't need to highlight the letter I can just ensure that I'm on text options up here and then this icon here deals with all the text effects so if I click on this one and then I can go down to shadow, click on shadow and then go down to presets, click on this arrow here, just extend my, just move my page out slightly and then I'm just going to click on this shadow here. So as you can see I've got a shadow now behind my letter. Now I can adjust that shadow with all these sliders here and I can adjust the angle so I'm just going to put that down to zero. The distance, I can make that shadow as far away or as close as I want. I'm going to get rid of the blur because I want this to be quite a sharp shadow. And once I'm happy with that, I can just click off. And then if that's the way I want it to be, then I can leave it as it is. But actually, I think I want a shadow around the box as well. So if I click on the shape, make sure I'm on shape options and then go down to this option here, which you can see is a little shadow on it. Click on that one, it will appear as this. Click on the drop down, go to presets. Again, with the presets, you have a number of different options. You don't have to select the ones that I am, but I'm just going to go for this one here, which is offset center. And then again, I can adjust that shadow. I'm probably going to get rid of the blur, but maybe increase the size. 
a little bit, maybe a tiny blur. And then just reduce the size a little bit. Okay, and I'm happy with that. Don't worry about this side because we will get rid of this so that it doesn't print onto the back of your card. Once you're happy with your text box, then we can simply go ahead and duplicate it. So make sure it's highlighted or selected and then press Command or Control C, Command or Control V and then you'll get a duplicate. And then all you need to do is just drag it down to the position that you want to. Now don't forget you don't have to put it exactly where I've put it. This is just a design I'm putting together so do feel free to adjust it if you want to. Then I'm just going to click Command or Control V again just to duplicate that again and take it down to the bottom. Now I obviously need to change the spelling of this word to mum so I'm just going to highlight this and just press U and then what it does is because we've already formatted all this then it's simply going to change the letter with all the formatting that we did originally. Don't forget you can change all of these colours so if they're not for you then do go ahead and change them all uh, and so what I need to do now is just adjust these boxes so that they align in the way that I want them to. So I'm just going to move this one up a little bit. You can just see there's a faint gap between the two of them so I'm just going to move it to the left ensuring that I don't leave a gap in the edge here. And then you can either move this box completely to the back so it's not overlapping here as it is here and all you need to do is select the text box, go up to shape format and then go to send backwards, click on the drop down and click send to back. And then what it will do, it will send this text box behind the two other text boxes. Now the next thing we need to do is insert some pictures. So if you go up to the insert tab, go to the pictures icon, click on the drop down and click picture from file. So I'm just going to select some online images, click insert and we've got this enormous picture here that we want to pop in this square here. So the first thing I need to do is reduce the size. So if I click up in the top right corner you can see that my cursor has changed to a double ended arrow. Click and drag and you will reduce the size of your image. Now your image is very clunky at the moment and it won't move around very happily. So we can easily adjust that. So make sure your picture is selected. Go up to picture format and go to wrap text. Click on the drop down uh, arrow here and click behind text. Once you've clicked that you can simply move your image around your document. And then we can just use the arrows and the boxes to just reduce the size of our image until it fits the box. Now you may have to do some cropping but I'll show you how to do that shortly. Okay so now let's insert the next image. Go along to insert, pictures, picture from file. We'll insert this one, click insert. And again we're going to do exactly the same thing. So firstly go up to wrap text, make sure the picture's uh, highlighted and go to behind text. And then just grab the corners and just reduce your picture down to the size that you want. So what we're going to do, just to make life a little bit easier, we're just going to crop this photograph. So we're just going to ensure we're on picture format, go across to crop and just click crop. Now what happens is you'll have these black icons in the corners and the sides of your image. So if I want to reduce the size of this one on the width, if I just grab this black icon here and just pull it to the side here. I'm just going to line it up with the edge of these two boxes and again click and drag and just line it up with the centre and then press enter or click crop and then you can see that your image has been cropped. And Finally we'll just insert another image and this time we'll grab this one 
And again, we'll do exactly the same. And then if I just go to send backwards, click on the drop down and center back, it will actually go behind this photograph and I won't have to crop it. So there you can see that we've got our three photographs in. And then if we wanted to place something on the back and get rid of these shadows, then we can just simply insert another text box, go along to text box, draw text box, and then we can simply click and drag then what we're going to do is go to the center again. And then if I just click off that, you can see I've been given a white text box. This is by default with a black outline. So in order to get rid of the black outline, select the text box. You're on shape format here. Go down to this icon here, which is shape outline. Click no outline. It will get rid of the black border, but it'll also get rid of the shadow that was at the edge of this text box. This also allows you to insert some text in here if you wanted to, or uh, let's say it was an image. So if I, let's say, wanted to insert some text, instead of fighting with the text box we've already put in, you can put another text box inside this text box. Whoops. So if we just go to text box, draw text box, click and drag, you can actually put another text box inside this one. So then if we wanted to go ahead and put some text in, and then if we go to the Home tab and we'll just center that using this icon here, I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger. I'm on the Home tab again and I'm going to select the Increase Font button. And then if I press uh, the return key and insert a shape, click on shapes and go to the heart shape, click and drag, and then we can just put a little heart in there if we wanted to. I'm just going to turn that one black, go along to shape fill, black, outline, no out oops, sorry, no outline. And then we've got a little heart. Then we can just decrease the size of our text box, like so. And then we can just move that around anywhere in our page. Now don't worry about the heart because we can come back and collect that. So if I just drag this until it goes to the next line and then click the heart and move it to here. Now if you don't want this border around the text box then just click highlight the text box, make sure on your shape format, click on the no outline and then you've just got this element on the back of your card. Okay so that's the finished card. If you do want to go ahead and print this then don't forget it will go through your printer this side first. Then all you need to do is fold it in half and put in the words. Well, I hope that's helped. If it has, please subscribe. Happy Mother's Day and have a great day.